Tiernan, you've been telling us all season you haven't looked at the league table. I can tell you today that we've won it. We're, we're the champions. How, how does that feel? Uh, unbelievable. I'm, I'm so proud, so privileged to be manager of Lawrence Football Club today. Um, so proud for everyone involved with the club, right from Kenny, the, the, the board, all the volunteers that we have, the backroom staff, the players, the supporters. Um, thank you very much for everything that you've done for us this year. And um, I hope you've enjoyed it with us. Um, there's hopefully a lot of a lot of big days ahead, um, and you have been phenomenal. And the, the scenes at the end were, were very special with the crowd and the fans and, and the celebrations as well. And those are the, the moments that you work for, aren't they? That's what you, you were working towards all season? Yeah, we talked about it today. We talked about it in our pre-match that just cast your mind back to Andorra and the triple sessions and 70 and 80 degree heat and running around Jordanstown and giving up Christmas with your family and your friends. And this is what makes it all worthwhile. It's been a, a very professional effort right throughout the season and you've kind of preached that one game at a time but, but it's proven worthwhile and it's, it's proven to have worked. Yeah, I, I think the biggest thing that, that, that we try to get across to the players is our professionalism and, and <laughs> that one game at a time um, and not to get carried away with ourselves and keep our feet firmly on the ground and you'll get out what you put back in um, and, and I'm delighted for them, I really am. And today's game, 3-0 at half-time, I suppose it was as good as wrapped up. The second half was a, a good professional performance as well. Yeah, I, I, I thought that we were we were absolutely fabulous in, in, in the first half. We talked about it at half-time because of last week and what happened last week. And um, I, I thought they were really professional in the second half. They kept the ball when they needed to keep the ball. And we penetrated when we needed to penetrate and um, they got, they got what, their, what they deserved in the end. I think today moved just 21 points clear and obviously clinched the title. But I don't think anybody could could deny that we deserved it over the course of the season. We've, we've been um, very consistent. I haven't looked at the league table. If you hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known. Um, yeah, no, we have been we, we have been doing all that we need to do all season long. As I say, I have a, I have a very professional group of boys in there, um, and I'm delighted for them. I'm delighted that they that they reap their rewards, and now they get to go and enjoy tonight. Yeah, I was going to say, five games left, it's unusual maybe to wrap things up, wrap things up as early as this. Can, can you let them, and your, your sales as well, let your hair down and, and really enjoy it? We will tonight, yeah. Um, but our season's not finished yet. Um, we, we, we want to remain professional. Um, and over the next number of weeks, there's no doubt there's going to be nights that we will enjoy. And, and I will encourage the boys to go and enjoy those nights. But at the same time, when we're back to work, we'll work. Yeah, I was going to say the other teams in the league as well, Carrick and Portadown, especially going for that playoff, we kind of owe it to put in professional performances in both those games uh, as well. We, we, enjoy, we owe it to the supporters and we owe it to, to the owner and we owe it to everybody involved in the club. Um, we, we don't worry about anybody else, we worry about ourselves um, and we will remain professional right till the very end. Uh, and it's a, it's a lovely way to be able to do it at home. I know that we so nearly got there at the Welders, but to do it in front of 1,300 plus fans today was really nice as well. Yeah, I, I have to mention our fans again. Our, our, our fans have been absolutely and utterly phenomenal from the minute I walked in the doors of Inver Park. Um, and I'm so delighted that we were able to do it back at Inver Park. It would have been nice to do it in, against the Welders in February, but this was extra special. That's great. Thank you. Thank you very much.